Hi, it's Jacqueline or Galacticat, and I'm finally getting around to doing my Zodicat series. We have to backtrack slightly and go all the way back to Sagittarius. Happy birthday to my friends who had their birthdays back in November and December, and an extra special shout out to my baby brother who is also a Sagittarius. So let's talk a little bit about Sagittarius. It is the ninth sign of the zodiac and runs between November 22nd to December 21st. It is a fire sign and the ruling planet is Jupiter. Sagittarius is Latin for archer, but in Greek mythology, Sagittarius was a centaur, half horse, half human, who is always seen wielding a bow and arrow. The story of the constellation depicts Sagittarius aiming an arrow at the heart of Scorpio, its neighbouring constellation, to protect Orion. We learnt a little bit about Scorpio and Orion in the last video, so I'll leave a link to that in the iCard section above. The glyph is an arrow, which is probably one of the most self-explanatory glyphs out of all of the zodiac signs, except perhaps Aquarius. But we'll get to that in a later video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're updated when I finally upload that one. Anyway, back to Sagittarius. The symbol, as we mentioned before, is a bow-wielding centaur. As for the gemstone, I came across something a little bit peculiar. Most of the time, when researching gemstones for zodiac signs, the main one that pops up in my sources would generally be the same as the stone relating to the month that the zodiac sign spends the most time in. For example, if this were true for Sagittarius, the standout gemstone would be December's birthstone, Turquoise. In this case though, the standout gemstone was in fact Topaz, which is November's birthstone. I also saw many sources mention specifically Blue Topaz as the zodiac gemstone. The flower for Sagittarius was quite easy to find, with many sources agreeing that pink carnations and dandelions were the flower symbol for this sign. We know that the centaur is the animal symbol for Sagittarius, but as for non-mythological animals, deer and other forest animals seem to be a recurring theme. In terms of colour themes, my search for inspiration came up with many shades of purples as well as earthy tones. Feel free to take a look at my Sagittarius mood board on Pinterest, which I've linked in the description box down below. You can also find my other Zodiac mood boards on there as well, and you can have a glimpse of what's to come in future videos. So let's discuss some of the traits that makes a Sagittarius a Sagittarius. Sagittarians are optimistic and enthusiastic beings. They are curious and slightly ambitious and will always seek out a challenge and take risks to achieve their goals. However, their restlessness may sometimes get in the way and they may not see all their ambitions through to the end. 
They are very generous people and will go out of their way for their family and friends. Sagittarians have a great sense of humour, however can sometimes overlook others' lack of enthusiasm for their jokes and push slightly too far. They are extroverts by nature and have a very wondrous zest for life. In terms of love and compatibility, a Sagittarius will thrive with others who share their sense of adventure. They also hold honesty in high regard, but are also largely independent beings and therefore dislike clinginess. They would do well in relationships between the equally optimistic Libra, the passionate Aries, or the light-hearted Gemini. Their least compatible would be Taurus, as Sagittarius will not bow down to Taurin's controlling nature for very long. So let me know in the comment section below, are you a Sagittarius and do those traits fit you? I want to take a minute here at the end to thank you so much for supporting me and for coming back and watching my videos. And if you're new here, then thank you so much for watching this. I know it's super late and I'm super behind on my Zodiac hats, but I do plan to catch up. It's just that I've been super busy and I've been streaming three times a week on Twitch. So make sure to go check me out over there. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But I do feel super bad that I've let YouTube take a little bit of a back burner. I am hoping to upload a little bit more regularly, if not every week, then probably every two weeks. So it's more important than ever to hit that notification bell and make sure that you get those notifications on when I upload a video. I also hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube just before Christmas and I want to thank each and every one of you who hit that subscribe button and who has supported me throughout my journey. I haven't been on YouTube all that long. I am still a little bit of a noob with editing and voiceovers and stuff like that but you guys have supported me through everything and I can't thank you enough. I do want to do a giveaway so keep an eye on my Facebook page and my Twitter page. I will put updates over there when I decide on what to do. I just want to do something really cool so I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do yet but I just want to do something to thank you so so much. Anyway I'll shut up now and let you guys watch the rest of this video. Thank you again for being here. It means so much to me.